Hello again. I just went to the record fair in Utrecht and I have a headache because I've bought some uh, too much stuff I think but as always when you go somewhere. Um, I will make a video I think in two or three stages and uh, show you what I've got. First I've got two uh, CDs. Well, the first I want to show you is by Prince. I have a a uh, nice collection of prints and I didn't know but uh, this one was missing the only th CD maybe I was missing uh, from the old catalogue of prints and so I bought this one and this is a special an ultimate collector's edition with three CDs and one DVD and so let's open it up a very uh, a lot of people there in Utrecht. It's very nice. When you like records, collecting records, it's uh, the place to be, I think. I oh, have to be careful to not to destroy it. Let's see. Of course, Proper Rain is well known. Oh, no, I know the music. Also, of course, but I couldn't find this one in my record collection. So, very nice silver linings, a silver background. It's different from the uh, original. Fold out four times. The well known inner sleeve. And here are all the songs. There's a booklet, I think, in there as well. This is the booklet. But I don't want to show you that. Put it aside. The next I bought was uh, Rattle That Lock. From David Gilmour, his last album, studio album. And this special deluxe two disc set CD plus Blu ray. And it was so cheap, I thought I'd pick it up. So let's see what's in here. I think a lot. Show you what's standing here. The sticker. So it was there about eleven o'clock this morning, and I left there at three. Now drive, and now I'm eager to listen to uh, the music I bought. Inside of the box, spectrum, some kind of postcard, poster. I think it's very uh, sad that I didn't see him live. Maybe I have a chance once maybe to see him live. But until now it doesn't, doesn't happen. Two bookworks with pictures I think. Paradise Lost, not a book. Not a book show it because I have a lot of stuff to see. A Blu-ray. And this is a CD. So very nice. There we go. Then to the vinyl. The first I want to show you is this one. The most of the vinyl I bought were are uh, reissues. And this is also a re-ratio 
on the mirror mirror label I don't know it is with CD embryo I heard uh, another album by them it's most of them uh, on lyrics I didn't know, don't know this album so I want to listen to it crowd rock with jazz and ethnic music this is 1984 Zack Glück by Embryo Another album I bought was is this is an official release from Björk. I don't have any albums by Björk. I have some CDs. And the reason I want to buy this is because I like the artwork. It's from Jesse Kenda. And here also says that Björk and Arka um, have uh, conceived the new album. And Arka, I uh, I have three albums of them. So this is a uh, Kate Fold. Jessie Kendall has some special artwork. I don't know how she does it, but I think it's nice. Sorry for the reflections of the lamp. Gate vault. lyrics in the sleeve some notes of Jörg side A Utopia is the name of the album sorry I didn't mention that before as this would be side Lyrics from the other album and I think the credits. It's the same, so I won't show you. There's a download code, I think, for it. The inner, that's nice. The inner of the there's also some artwork, I don't know if you can see it right. Very nice. Don't know if it says no. Just a camera, but nice artwork. Björk, then I have another issue of Amundu. Amundu two Father's Day reissue on revisited records. Originally re released in 1996, 1969, sorry. So, old, and this is uh, 2009 reissued. I have some albums of uh, Amundu. Here's some, well, this is uh, the inner sleeve, but there's another plain inner sleeve. Father's Day. From the crowd rock. It's called. I like uh, some of the albums. Very good. Farewell. So that's for I want to do. Another crowd rock album. It's from Atlantis. It's a used copy. And it's a cheap Vertical Swirl album. So that's the reason I bought this one. Backside. And what I like about this is that it has this original inner sleeve. 
the swirl. Side eight. So I don't know mute the music, but I like the swirl label. But most of the time it's very expensive. So happy with this one. And some other uh, reissues. I think I've got some from the Karma label. Irkinda. Empty hands. Original on the Cuckoo label. Which is very nice, very colorful label. So this on the Akama. Leave the picture bent. Your kinder storage empty hands is very English, so oh, this is a nice. You see here the Kubuk label. Side one. A very colorful label, very nice, nicely done. What oh, is not the karma? It's a missing vinyl, I see. So the next, I don't know the music, but uh, Nico Malcolm. Which I like to see on uh, on the internet. Always has out of focus, and uh, so I bought this one. It's also a missing vinyl. I bought it by a man who had the label a car on it, but it's a missing vinyl. So I think another cuckoo the issue. Very nice cover art. Plain in a sleeve. And yes, it's on the cuckoo. Like the other one. I won't show you. Backside. Here, missing vinyl. So I'm curious how it sounds because a camera record sounds good, sounds good, but I don't know if missing vinyl is also good. Originally, the album is from 1971. Another one. Out of focus. Wake up. Missing vinyl again. label this is on originally let's see it's not a cuckoo it's another cuckoo label wake up title of the album. Out of focus. A nice artwork. Now I'm going to the gatefolds 2620. Well known I think. For me not. I don't like know the music. I'm missing vinyl. I didn't watch 
that good on the label so maybe missing vinyl is some kind of related to karma records I don't know the price was good so I hope it sounds okay the lyrics one side of the band on the other side. Get some notes. Black vinyl. This says missing vinyl. Side one, and side two. So I have a lot of listening to do. The weeks to come. There's nothing special in the second one. So last but not least is another out of focus double album. Four Little Monday Afternoon. A nice picture. Also on the missing vinyl. And indeed, I missed it on vinyl. For the gatefold. Nice cover. And a sleeve. I think it's a life. Aufgenommen vom 17. bis 28. Juli 1972. So it's from 17 till uh, 28 of July 27. They recorded it in München in Deutschland.